Hi, welcome to Agent Inbox, the best way to pitch top literary agents online. Literary agents have already received thousands of queries through the service. I'm Katie, Marketing Manager at WeBook, and I'm going to show you all the great tools and features we offer. This is the submission page for Agent Inbox. If you haven't used Agent Inbox before, this is where you want to begin. A couple of things to note. If you have questions up front, you can find the answers to some of them in our FAQ. You can also view our great list of active literary agents here. In order to submit, you need to create an account at WeBook. As you can see here, I'm logged in. Click Find an Agent Now to begin the process. First step, description of your book. This includes title, genre, short synopsis, and word count. For the short synopsis, think carefully about what you write here. It is short, but it should be concise and clear. I'm actually going to use some dummy text just for this tutorial. Pick your genre carefully too. You will only be matched with agents that have shown interest in those genres. Also, add the word count here. Keep in mind, you will need to include this in the body of your query letter. Next part, choosing an agent. I'm going to check out my options and pick one of the agents I'm interested in querying. This will bring up the query letter screen. This is arguably the most important part of your submission because it is the first impression with the agent. So please, write and edit carefully. If you have questions, you can check out our extensive tutorials. When cutting and pasting from Word, be careful. Use the clipboard tool here, or some HTML code will be included in your submission, and it'll look a bit sloppy on the page. Once you're finished, click Return to Agent List. The process works the same for each agent. I'm just going to insert dummy text. Once you've created a letter for all the agents you're seeking representation from, click Next. On to the Manuscript Sample section. Agents have different requirements, and WeBook has organized them in an easy way. Each agent grouping will have a different sample size. In this case, one agent requires a 50-page sample, two agents require a 5-page sample, and one agent doesn't require anything. So I'm going to create two sample sizes. This is still just dummy text, but you should strive to adhere to each agent's guidelines as much as possible. Once you've added a sample, it will be saved for you in case you return to query more agents who ask for that size. Next up, author bio. This is just basic information, name, location, education, etc. Pretty straightforward. Again, this is some fake information about me that I've inserted for the tutorial. Here you get to preview your submission. Check everything carefully. You will not be able to make any edits once the submission has been passed through the agents. You also have the option of allowing agents to forward your information to other agents they think may be interested in your query. Once you've checked everything, click Submit. After submitting, your query is reviewed by someone at WeBook, and if it passes a basic flight check, it will go on to the agents for consideration. When we say flight check, we mean that your query is reviewed for basic editorial standards. We just want to make sure that you make the best impression possible with agents you query. If WeBook has revisions for you, you'll see them in yellow on your submissions page. You can make the changes and resubmit anytime. The last thing I want to mention is Agent Inbox Tracking. Tracking is a really cool feature that provides you with a ton of information you normally wouldn't have access to. Let's take a look at an account that has tracking activated. With Agent Inbox Tracking, you have insight into when the agent actually opened your query and what he or she viewed. You can upgrade to tracking for $9.95 for six months. If you don't upgrade, don't worry. Agents will still be able to respond to you and you will be notified. Okay, that's all for now. Check out Agent Inbox Forum if you have more questions. Good luck.